Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a haul. I have been collecting a little bit over the last couple of weeks, really cheap things because I don't have a lot of money I'm saving for a trip, but I have got a Dezo and BYS type haul or a gloss haul. So if you're in Australia, I'm not sure if they have Dezo in other countries, but Dezo, which is spelled D-A-I-S-O, is a Japanese sort of superstore where everything is from Japan and everything is $2.80. So you don't pay anything more than $2.80, you don't pay anything less than $2.80 for everything, every item that you purchase. So I have a whole bunch of things from there. I've already opened everything but I've kept the packages so that I can sort of show you what the items are like or how they are packaged before you open them like I have. I also have a gloss haul as well. So basically all makeup items, yeah. Let's get into it. So I'm just basically trying to find things that are relatively good quality and cheap at the same time. Hopefully these do work out well. So this one I actually got today just on a whim. This is um, a gel eyeliner from Dezo. This is the first thing that I got. Does this look like my eyeball? Maybe if I look over there. <laughs> In the colour Lame Black. I don't know what lame means but to me lame means Lame. So it says focus gel eye, eye focus gel eyeliner smooth and fit with magical adhesive effect. So if anything, I'm sort of hoping that this is kind of like my Maybelline Hyperglossy that I already have, and I kind of like the design of the actual pot. It's got like that big pink diamante on it, and I don't know I just like that. The next thing I have already raved on about, sort of on Instagram, I'm really impressed with it so far. So I already have a bit of a first impression for that one. I'm just going to pop it back in the package for you. It is a pressed powder foundation, or it says base foundation. It says, make more transparent and radiant skin. Bright pink skin colour, rosa beige is the colour, or pink beige. But it's not too, like I mean, I guess it has like a pink undertone, but I'm wearing it today and I'm really impressed with it. It was only $2.80. I said on Instagram it is a very sort of like velvety finish, which... I think that's kind of nice. Oh, what are you doing? Yep, back over there. Strained my hair with my InStyler today. Pretty impressed. That's what it looks like. Comes in the compact. The only thing that I didn't really like about this, and this is the only problem that I had, was when I first started trying to open it, it was like the most difficult thing to open. Now that I've opened it a few times, it's fine. It's got like a section in the back, I guess, if you wanted to put your own sponge in there, but it doesn't come with a sponge. It just comes with the the mirror and the compact so that's the lightest color it's pretty pretty good i used it over the top of my laurel l'oreal tree match foundation and i've only really had to touch up once or twice today which is pretty pretty good the next thing that i wanted to try was a mascara and i have already opened that as well this is what it originally looked like in the package okay so i'll just take it out so it's meant to be a volume mascara and there was a sign next to it saying bestseller so I thought mm, well we'll try that and you know what it seems okay it's more of a like I have tried it another first impression I guess it's not what I really look for in a mascara but if you're looking for something that's really just every day not like how I like my eyes to be like sort of over the top ish I normally use a covergirl mascara I think it's called lash blast volume or something like that it comes in an orange bottle but for $2.80 you can't really go wrong if you're just starting out buying makeup and that type of thing. This is perfect. There's nothing wrong with this. This is what the one looks like. The actual formula or whatever it is. Awkward hand. Um, the actual wand itself is nice. The design is nice. It looks lacy on the top. Can't really tell. I'll just use my face as a background. I'm gonna toss these out as I go because that's why I kept them. What I do, I just, I like to keep my trash for you guys. Okay, another thing that I, I pretty much opened everything that I purchased from Dezo because I was that excited. Like I said, I kept the packaging. Wanted to get a blush. I was actually after a cream blush that it didn't look like that the Dezo that I went to actually stocked. And I just wanted it because I'd seen a little Instagram video of someone else in a hashtag of Dezo where it was just a lot, like a nice consistency. It was a cream blush. I don't actually own any. Oh, I think I might own one. Most of the blushes that I have are powder. This is the Dezo blush. Again, everything's $2.80. Multi-cheek professional makeup artists. Comes with a little brush which I haven't used and I probably will never use but I just kept it in there so it's a really nice, I would say that this is like a strawberry pink colour and it's actually quite lovely. I'm not wearing it today, I'm wearing an e.l.f. blush today. Maybe I'll just show you the consistency. 
did wear it the other day and it was really nice. You don't apply it with your finger. I mean, you can if you want. I don't like to apply it with my finger usually. Pretty right. And I really like that as well when I actually applied it with my brush. My brush is right there. Why didn't I just use the brush? Very well. Okay, apparently I did get another eyeliner the other day and it is a velvet eyeliner and it is in the color very black. Comes in that packaging. I did try this. This is very nice. I wouldn't say that it's very black. I'd say it's more of like a metallic sort of black, which is nice. The applicator isn't that great, but you can work with it. It's fine. For $2.80, you can't go wrong. Next, I bought a few... Ugh, my voice. Next, I bought... Next, I bought a few different eyelashes because I'm getting into eyelashes more. I've already worn some, not today, but actually in my last video, in my styler video, I had fake eyelashes on then and they were from Dezo as well. I did buy another two. These ones, which were part of the bestseller ticket. So they're sort of very winged out. They point out, <laughs> if you can see that. And I thought they were nice. High grade transparent line lash. So they don't actually have... Um, like the black base line but I like these ones because they were smaller and they look more natural. I also wanted to buy a base like a lower eyelid fake eyelash just because well I could try it and that's what they look like and I remember when I first looked at them I was like these are really short and then I realized exclusively for bottom lashes exclusive. Next I wanted to get a eyeshadow this was another bestseller even though yeah they're all $2.80 like I said. This one's got like sort of neutral colors peaches golds it's only four colours, a little quad, and it's like all shimmery shades, which I think is kind of nice. The packaging in Dezo really sells you. I just don't know, everything's so cute, you kind of just want to get everything. Okay, so next I'm going to go on to my BYS haul. Um, so I wanted to get a couple of fake eyelashes from them as well. These eyelashes that I bought, the actual cashier lady girl was wearing them and they looked amazing on her and I was like, are they from here? And she was like, yes, yes they are, I'll show you. This is them. They're sort of like thicker on the edges and thinner there but when they're actually on you can't really tell too much they just look fuller it's not such um, a gap they were $9.95 I wanted to buy another set of eyelashes these ones were called Enchanted I can't tell you the names of the others because they don't have names at Dezo or well, none that I can read anyway the next one I bought is a BYS Lash Envy is this one so this one is more of like a natural kind of looking eyelash but also very big if anyone follows i think her name's jin's maker on instagram she wears eyelashes a lot like this they're very feathery they're very long they're very glamorous and where she buys them from somewhere online i can't afford so I'm trying to find dupes for everything at the moment and again 9.95 i've already got lash glue i don't believe these come with lash glue so oh wait no they do they come with lash glue. So I am starting to accumulate quite a lot of the B di blah, blah, BWS. I'm just thinking alcohol. I need a shot. Alcohol. I'm actually starting to really like the BYS matte lipsticks. I think they're like $3.95 or $4.95 each and they're actually amazing. They're not too creamy, they don't rub off, they don't build up. They're actually really good for what they are and I've got heaps of colours now just accumulated over the few Years. But this one here is called Pink Before You Speak. It's this really nice sort of light coloured pink. I've noticed that in the shops in Australia they're sort of bringing out a lot of spring colours of everything and I'm just sort of like, but I'm cold. Like, I still want to wear like darkish colours. Stop doing this to me. Then I wanted to get a few different different coloured eyeliners, liquid eyeliners. So I got this teal sort of a colour. I'm going to have a bit of a play with that as a liquid eyeliner and also a white liquid eyeliner. Haven't tried these before. Not even sure how these are going to go. Hopefully they're going to go well because so far with EYS I am pretty happy. The next thing that I wanted was a bronzing powder. So this is sort of like a trio. There's three different colours and this is simply for contouring. I've got some nice bronzers at the moment. I really love my Astralis bronzing powder but I just wanted to sort of give myself some variation. This one is in Light Shine by BYS and it's a bronzing powder so you can see that there's sort of like three different... Sorry, my lights are all over this. You can sort of see there's a light sort of goldy brown, then a more brownie brown and then sort of a reddy brown at the bottom. So you've got three different colours to choose from. And last but certainly not least, I am so excited because I don't ever buy eyeshadow palettes aside from anything that's nice and cheap. This one I'm pretty excited about because there's a few different colours, they're all shimmery. They all look very, very like metallic. I hope it's just not on the top and then it's all like the normal colours on the bottom. We'll see, this is all the different colours that come in it. I'm really interested in the black 
just for an eyeshadow look that I want to try. I don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I've got a nice Lime Crime one and I've got two dupes of the Naked palette, which are pretty good. I mean, they're very pigmented, they blend out really well, and I can justify spending less on something that I think probably works just as well. So I'm always on the hunt to find things that are cheaper, but also pretty good quality and worth it, I guess. I'm just gonna do a quick swatchy swatchy of this lipstick that I bought just to show you how good they are and why I love them so much. I'm just gonna put it on. It took me like 20 minutes just to take the plastic cap off. Come on, you can't look at this and tell me that that doesn't look like a high-end brand. $3.95, matte. And it's not even too matte. Like, I've got a MAC Ruby Woo lipstick and I love that lipstick, don't get me wrong. But it is so hard to reapply during the day if you need to. It sort of just builds up. I've had a few of these ones before in different colours and seriously, they don't build up. Not, like, as badly as some higher-end brands where you're spending, like, $50 to $60 on a lipstick. $3.95. It's amazing. Hearing noises behind me. That's scary. So that's this lip color. The only problem that I have with these lipsticks is the lids. So I have a few of these ones in natural colors, bright red colors as well. You'll find that these come off really easily. They sort of like jar themselves and then come apart in your handbag. I haven't figured out a way to stop that from happening other than maybe going out and purchasing one of those little lipstick bags. I haven't gotten one yet, but I'm sure Dezo will have one or a $2 shop somewhere. Protect anything that you might have in your bag because otherwise it's gonna go everywhere. In terms of a nice bright pink lipstick that doesn't cost the earth, $3.95 from B... I'm gonna say BWS. BYS. You cannot go wrong. And one of the ladies that I work with actually got me on to BYS more so than anything else just because I can't believe the results. And I hope word doesn't get out too much where they just like jack up the prices to $40. That would be the worst thing in the world. If you would like me to do sort of like a BYS makeup look, I'd be totally happy to do that. It'd be a bit of a challenge for me because I'm not sure what their face products are like though. That's the only thing. I don't think I would trust their concealers and their foundations. I mean, I could always do that in future if you wanted me to try. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is the same way that it's spelled here, Rianne Autumn. You can also like my Facebook page my blogspot page and also follow me on Twitter if you like. Please share this video with your friends, share any of my previous videos with your friends if you like them. It would help me a great deal. One last thing, I am going to be filming my what's in my bag video. I have promised that but I'm one of those girls who has a very messy handbag so I'm not sure if I should tidy it up first because it's pretty gross. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!